So way back in the day, I used to be a big true crime reader and that was actually not exactly what started me reading more, but it was pretty close to the kind of books that I was really kind of into reading. Uh, this was again almost like 30 years ago when I really started reading more. And I went through this big true crime phase and I watched, um, I started, I should say, I started reading first and then eventually started watching true crime shows. And it was interesting because as I read more true crime books and started to get familiar with those cases and then you would see them on TV shows, it was kind of like, whoa. Um, so I really got just really deep into the true crime uh, reading and started to become familiar with some uh, some pretty uh, famous true crime authors, uh, including Anne Rule. And I read a lot of um, Anne Rule's books years ago, and you know I just uh, became intrigued by that. And yet, some people I know it just makes them uncomfortable. I've had this conversation over the years multiple times with people who are just not comfortable at all reading true crime books and and I agree and they're not for everybody because the true crime books are kind of interesting because you'll be reading them and especially if you're reading them at night in the dark uh, like one I was just reading uh, I just finished um, and uh, just posted it to my Goodreads uh, about a day or so ago um, a true crime book that happened uh, locally where I live uh, many years ago uh, in the early 80s and I was reading that and uh, I was reading it at night and I'm like I was just thinking man you know if I wasn't like really used to reading true crime, this could be like really kind of creepy and spooky uh, to read it because all of a sudden uh, you hear like uh, a creaking noise and you're like, whoa, whoa, what was that? You know, you start to uh, you start to hear like every little sound that you normally don't pay any attention to. All of a sudden you start hearing it and it's like, whoa, it just it feels like uh, um, the little uh, creaking floor or the uh, the heat cycling on or the air conditioning cycling on or the refrigerator cycling on. All of a sudden it's like, whoa, shoot. Whoa, it's like Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers in my house or something like that, and you start to get uh, a little, little, little tripped out. But uh, it's really interesting to read them. Uh, again, they're not for everybody, but uh, I always had uh, an interest in them back in the day. And then again, I, I read one recently uh, with uh, local ties that you know had a lot of names that I recognized, and it's kind of like whoa, you know, like an unsolved mystery. And so um, I may review that book at some point because it was really interesting um, because I'd been familiar with that case because I'd been a newspaper reporter for a lot of years. And so I came to become familiar with this particular case. And when I saw the book, uh, just uh, working my way through, I think I was working my way through Amazon. It might've been Goodreads, but I think it was Amazon. I was working my way through Amazon and I found that book and I was kind of like, whoa, okay, I've heard a lot about this case. So let me let me read this book. And I was like, wow, that was a pretty fascinating read, especially because I know a lot of names in the book. So, um, but yeah, true crime is not for everybody, but uh, it is for some people. And uh, if you're interested in, in, in real life things that happened and real life mysteries in some cases and how they were solved and police procedures and all those kind of things, how the court works and the Freedom of Information Act, sometimes uh, things that you can get and things that you can't get, things that you sometimes have to pay for, things that you don't have to pay for, uh, people that uh, welcome you with interviews and people that turn you down for interviews and uh, people that uh, are living and people that are dead and you know, it's really kind of interesting to, to go through true crime books and to see how the authors put them together. And uh, it's not easy. It's a, it's a tough road to go, especially um, having been a newspaper reporter, I can certainly relate to how tough it is to put those kinds of books together. And so that's why when I see them sometimes when it's interesting, uh, I usually, um, or at least I used to more so in the past, but even now, uh, sometimes if uh, one catches my interest, I'll go ahead and check it out. And uh, But nowadays, you know, people don't read as much anymore. So most people probably just watch Investigation Discovery, which is a great channel, by the way. I do love watching Investigation Discovery. It's uh, one of my must-have channels in whatever um, TV package, TV provider I use, uh, must have Investigation Discovery. So. Um, but I still like reading now and then. So if I see some other true crime books that pop up, I'll definitely go ahead and take a chance at them. But uh, that's something, again, not for everybody, but uh, if you have an interest in it, it can be very interesting to see how things really work um, with uh, crimes, and especially 
crimes that are unsolved, but even crimes that are solved. It's uh, quite an arduous uh, process and it can be frustrating at times, but uh, when you can put all the pieces of the puzzle together as best you can, it can be really fascinating. So um, that's all I got and uh, come back for future vlogs on this channel. Peace.